Welcome to Barnegat Light. This seems to be like an oddity. Here we are at the end of August, a, a Sunday morning right now, late morning, and uh, there aren't any people. The eye of the storm is above us right now. The winds have subsided considerably. Uh, this is Barnegat Light Inlet. The tide is the wind's coming out of the southeast. No fishing today. It seems that the Francis Ann is in, the famous boat from Swords, end of the line. The answers are about that, Jim. I can't see while I'm driving. There is surf six to eight foot in the Barnegat Light Inlet. Uh, we're at the inlet deli of Barnegat Light. Friday night, the firemen took a ride around town with the uh, bull, bull horn saying that water and sewer was, were going to be shut off. Also, natural gas and electric was going to be shut up, shut off. We are only half a block away from the inlet. You could notice the, the water ripping through the inlet right now. Um, and uh, we're still in the eye of the storm. Uh, this is the very tip of Barnegat Light, the north end. Uh, obviously, this is the inlet that takes water from uh, Forked River near the nuclear plant, from past Tom's River all the way up to uh, the middle part of Long Beach Island. Uh, obviously, there is no one around um, except for me and that seagull. Uh, right now, we are still within the eye. It is not, it's still blowing southeast. Well, th this is unbelievable. This is pretty exciting to see. There are waves coming in Barnegat Light Inlet that are easily six to eight foot. Rarely do you see that wave come, come around the uh, north or the south end and barrel in. This is now a rideable wave. As a kid years ago, we used to jump into the inlet over here in Barnegat Light and then paddle across to Island State Park. This is, this is pretty exciting to go out there and see all this surf going on right now. The island, Long Beach Island, is still closed off. I see the mayor running around in Barnegat Light. The wind has really subsided. It's not, it's not blasting at all. Behind me is Viking Village, and all the boats have been hunkered down since Friday. They, I think the last one was the Miss Mania, which is right there. She came in on Friday. Uh, now, now we're talking surf. Uh, we're at 25th Street in Barnegat Light. Uh, this is a beach break. Off to my right is the shoal area. Uh, and the surf is awesome. This is my 25th Street beach. And uh, it is ripping. 12 foot easily. It's thick as a house. It's got to be 30, 35 foot thick. And uh, we're going to go out this afternoon and get blown out with the west wind. Uh, you, you can see now the surface rip. I mean, uh, this is 
There's not much of an outside. This is sort of an inside shore break type of wave and it, it just barrels. Anyway, um, I think surfers right now have to give it a little more time. Honestly, it's about six to eight foot the face. Um, if we go down to the shoal area, the outside shoal may turn into like eight to 10 foot. But this is it. This is Barnegat Light, 25th Street. Off in the distance is the inlet. And we're here by ourselves. We haven't heard anything about the causeway opening up yet. The hurricane is completely past us. We're getting that northwest breeze right now. It's about 25 to 35 miles per hour. Testing. Uh, this is the surfer's worst nightmare. We get finally good surf, and what happens? Off of the west, and down. We can take a shot of the uh, bay. The bay is like punk. So anyway, there's a couple surfers out. Uh, some of them are riding, but it's really difficult to drop into the wave. What an exciting day with the eye of Irene passing over Barnegat Light, New Jersey, USA. We were all over the place, weren't we? Well, things are back to normal. It's quieted down. The wind's still a little breezy. The sun's setting, but it's turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful day. See you later.